Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special Riff Arcade. This is a guest riff with Robert Connor. Say hello, Robert Connor. Hello. That's Robert. That's him. <laughs> I'm here. So, I'm me. So Robert is our graphic designer for Riff Arcade, and uh, he designed our logo down there in the corner and uh, some other assets for us. And he's also working on a webcomic that you might have seen advertised on this show. Yeah, <laughs> plugged a lot. <laughs> and thank you so, for that. Give him clicks. <laughs> no problem. So since Robert is a is a cartoonist i that's not the best word is it <laughs> uh, no that's that's fairly accurate i mean I'd, okay yeah i'll take it so since robert is a cartoonist we're gonna play some cuphead which is completely hand-drawn and designed to look like a 1930s cartoon so huh. these are all hand-drawn we go i believe so oh, wow. except for that that's like live footage oh. <laughs> that is 3d it's not hand-drawn <laughs> Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived Mugman. without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. <laughs> I like the jazzy vibe we got going. Here. I love it. That 1930s yeah. Mm, yeah. Gatsby tone here. <laughs> One day, the two boys wandered far from home and, despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. <laughs> I, should throw up, I should throw up a few red flags, I would think. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Hmm. Oh, there's some shady biz going on here. <laughs> Don't be a blue dose, sir. Let's go in and have a gamble. I can't Inside. wait to talk like that the entire episode. Please oh, do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 1930s. Yep. Uh, doing some uh, prohibition speak. Talk about yeah, speakeasies. Speak easy. Eh? <laughs> Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! Exclaimed King. Oh, I gave him the Mickey Mouse dice. I mean, the <laughs> Mickey Mouse voice. Anyone says hot, hot dog. dog. It's got to be <laughs> hot dog. Sorry, I got my, my 1930s cartoons mixed up. The casino's <laughs> sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. <laughs> well, who do you devil. think would own a place called the Devil's Casino? Who could and own the Devil's devil. Casino, yeah. <laughs> now, how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Fiddle contest. With one oh. more roll. Okay, I just want to say, like, this kind of 1930s animation freaked me the crap out as a oh, kid. Oh, yeah. Too, it's so <laughs> creepy. None of us are ready for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> win, win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Cuphead. I'm interested to see how this transitions into a video game. Like, <laughs> this is a short story and it's about to be over with them dying and going to hell. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, where do we go from there? Well, who knows? The book closes and the game just yeah. crashes itself. <laughs> <laughs> Cuphead, blinded by easy riches and dollar signs in his eyeballs, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. <laughs> what a wet blanket. Like Cuphead was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got milk for brains, that's his problem. It it does. Snake eyes, laughed the devil, so while slamming the floor, you lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers <laughs> pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. Ah, here we go. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I might just pardon you two mugs. <laughs> oh. Literally, they're, mug, they're mugs. They're yeah. so mugs. <laughs> we're a henchman of the devil himself. Yeah, that's right. going to collect people's souls. We're now devil's minions. Wasn't was this the plot going. of Pirates Caribbean 2? <laughs> kind of, yeah. I kind of, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and the dice game. They even played the play a dice game. Yeah, really. Movie. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely, as the devil would. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting your souls. <laughs> get out of here. Now you floor flushers can go chase yourselves. 
<laughs> That's right, buddy. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug! panted Cuphead. We have to find Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. I like that I've given Elder. him about four or five different voices at this point. Elder Kettle. <laughs> we have to search Elder. for the Elder Kettle. Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> but you want to voice Elder Kettle? <laughs> well, what a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into! <laughs> it's like Howard Taft. <laughs> I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil! Probably shouldn't have gone to this casino, right? But if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your face. He seems happy. Like, Cupman seems happy for that. You must play along for that. I'll collect those contracts. And steal people's souls and whatnot. Now. <laughs> You'd best be ready for some nasty business. I said, your dead of friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. I'm mean, staking their souls in that one. In fact, I expect them to transform to terrible beasts. Uh, probably. Yeah, I would too. Someone was like, I'm here for your soul. No, you take this potion. I would too. I won't hang on you dry. <laughs> Say, that's oh, the wow. stuff, fella. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's Hooch. It'll give you the most <laughs> remarkable magical abilities. Now oh, go break a writing desk and use some magical equal there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! I was I in have, war. You have... Okay. <laughs> Back when I was in World War One. So what's the difference Which, between a cup yeah. and a mug? A well, mug has a handle, right? But this guy has a handle. Well, mug man's got a handle. I thought. Oh, nice. Oh, this is actually... I thought it was a loading screen. <laughs> this is a tutorial. Oh, cool. So I'm flying through this. So if it's pink, it can give you special abilities and stuff. Nice. Oh, you're dead. Oh. Yeah, that's your soul. What, what, <laughs> the devil wants. What was that? Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was well, a, that was, a uh, dead. <laughs> well, that's so if you're playing two-player. I kind of flew past that. But that's if you're playing two-player... And your friend dies, you can resurrect them as they float away as a spirit. Oh, okay. All right. Even the loading screen is the happy little hourglass. <laughs> Everyone's got a little bob. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he ducks, he still bobs up and down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> little dance. Yeah. Everything's just bouncing. He's got a pep in his step is what he's got. <laughs> so this is one of those games that's all bosses. Whole game is bosses. Oh, there's no stage? It's just, like, boss one, boss two? Oh, no, you're right. I'm sorry. There are stages. But <laughs> it's like there's Shadow far of the fewer Colossus. of them. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a lot like Shadow of the Colossus. When I used to be in the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting, playing <laughs> hooky. <laughs> but now, I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. You're going to be in pictures. The silver screen. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Oh, money! Oh, Pac-Man coins. <laughs> Ooh, bazoomas. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Say, don't go spending that on the hooch. Oh, there's like spend... the old shady character down there. <laughs> you can spend there. a day at the yep. cinema, <laughs> take the ride to the trolley, and get a coconut <laughs> pie with two nickels left over. <laughs> oh, chaser. <laughs> I have way too much fun. I'll go ahead and buy the spread shot. Nice. All right. Yeah. Oh, goodbye. Uh. <laughs> This is going to be my nightmare uh, for... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Look at your equipment card, you bums. Bums. Okay. All right. So I want to go ahead and do that. If there's a tree level, you need there. to splice in um, the trees by Rush. Because that, <laughs> was, that cartoon inspired that. the song, yeah. Huh. Oh, really? What is, what is that? I think so, yeah. Is I think the flowers Neil and trees just... inspired the trees? I think so, yeah. I did not know that. Oh, Andrea will be pleased to know that information. Here oh, here we okay. go. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is the game. Jump and shoot. Jump I love the little shoot, green man. filter. Oh, there we go. Ah! Watch <laughs> out for the flower patrol. So the Maples formed a union and demanded equal rights. All right. <laughs> so, uh, very fast paced. It really uh, matches that, like, kind of accelerated frame rate from, like, movies in that era. Yeah. Yeah, everything's the, the, the ragtime playing. Yeah, <laughs> ragtime. 
<laughs> Play me off, Jimmy. Ah. <laughs> I'm about to die already. This game's really hard, by the way. I should have. Uh. So most of, I guess, most of you out there in Let's Play Land already know about this game, but I know Robert's never seen this game before. <laughs> So he's he is experiencing all of this for the first time. Yeah, I want to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it. What? Well, oh, you died. <laughs> Give it oh, got your soul. Get ready for that. Yeah, well, the end right uh, and force close. <laughs> so this is another game that um, I would love to have. Butts playing two player with me, my the mug man to my cup cuphead. But uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. long story yeah. short, we're, we're still sorting that out. So bear with us, and and butts will be yeah. flying Internet's high on these hard. things in no time at all. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I'm just going slower now. Just I'm very scared. <laughs> the devil wants my soul. I got to play this right. Ah, did you well. get the spread shot? What are you? Oh, yeah. You didn't equip your items, you bum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> told you. Hey, there you go. we go. Ha ha ha. What are the coins? <laughs> that just lets you buy items? or? Yeah, yeah. It just lets you buy items. And there's a finite number in the whole game, so, like, you might as well grab them when you see them. <laughs> just, like, just like real money in the Depression. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the actual 1930s. <laughs> yeah. Nope, acorn maker. Uh, acorn maker. Also known as oak trees. Yeah. In, in, in the real world, before the war, we had to yeah. make our own acorns. Before the war, the trees was all dried up because we didn't have any water to drink. <laughs> Robert, you are free. For our children. Yeah. <laughs> You're free to make as many before the war jokes as you want on this playthrough. Perfect. <laughs> oh, great. Well, so that and does it for. Was that about bosses, Josh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so on oh, the, the next episode. Even... Oh yeah, it looks like a little like uh, Mickey Mary Mouse Melody's opening. Like, yeah. Yeah, Merrimax. Yeah. <laughs> he actually does look like Mickey Mouse. He's got the red pants and the he really does. black body. The yellow shoes. <laughs> Boy, are they pushing that. Soon. All right. So on the next episode, we will do our first actual fight. And uh, we'll, we'll get to know Robert a little better as well. So see you next time on Riff Arcade. Keyboard, go.